2K episode 116 <laughs> The Chosen Idiots <coughs> Yeah and I I after editing the video I I didn't notice that there was an after credit scene Yeah and they are on their way to the final boss Art Finn Tapir I wonder if this is the same, somewhat similar plot with the first Dragon Quest game. Maybe it is. Oh, <laughs> that one. more updated kind of uh, what were they called like like uh, looky looky I forget <laughs> what they're called already <laughs> yeah <laughs> brute force I guess he's yeah I <laughs> he's more cautious than Gin. I guess he cares more about <laughs> Tama than Gin, so I, it's just that Gin doesn't have any plan. <laughs> but that is pretty smart. If they could, cause the main goal is just to defeat the, the like the final boss and everything will be over. So, <laughs> cause at least they could conserve energy, strength. If they could just sneak in. Oh, that is. <laughs> but but Gin is treating this really like an adventure game instead of trying to help Tama. <laughs> she punch it like character. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad I'm not familiar with the Dragon Quest game. <laughs> I 
Oh, this is cool game. <laughs> it's like he's fighting himself. I guess it's literally himself. <laughs> I guess this is why Hijikata and Gin really is like somewhat conflicting because they're somewhat alike so this is somewhat similar to that <laughs> gay crap yeah that is <laughs> but Gin, Gin and Hijikata had a good combination so Kagura's <laughs> Kagura sacrifice was somewhat weighted. Leo aside. Whoa. I wonder if they also had some. I guess they had that toothpick. <laughs> he even hit <laughs> They purposely hitting each other At least they're somewhat wiping out, yeah, the virus. Yeah, they are the strongest, <laughs> but they are somewhat conflicting with with, with each other. And just like that. <laughs> they wiped out the army. But is it good? At least I, it will just be the final boss. I I'm I wonder if he also some kind of um stronger minions like like uh from other anime where they have to <laughs> face off one uh, one character and one enemy it's like until the main character fight faces the the boss final boss yeah but <laughs> they're pretty worn out <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't notice that. Is that the same thing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> will he really <laughs> restore your health? Yeah. They're, they're really treating it like a game. Yeah, if they work together, imagine how strong. It's just two times through gin.
Kagura. But that's the cool thing with Tama, she's, she's self-aware of all the things that is happening. She knows that she's a robot. And I guess that's the one unique thing with her core, is that she's all, she's exactly like a human. She has her own heart. And, and, and uh, this image of Gin is how also somewhat connected to Tama's view of game and I guess it's somewhat also reflected to the true nature of game <laughs> yeah he is exactly like Gin a mimic <laughs> Look at all of that blood. <laughs> I thought that he would be at least at least more a serious version of Gin. <laughs> I guess Tama really knew <laughs> He really knew the real Gin. She really knew the real Gin. His he's even his cook crooked personality uh, whoa Tama saw through all through that <laughs> but yeah this is nice yeah that's how yeah, how she was able it's amazing that she was able to perceive that I think she's she's somewhat better than a normal human being for her to notice that yeah and this is really cool because this is somewhat a reflection of Gain seeing himself I hope they could at least retain her memory because I think that's the the saddest part with with Tama is that she lost that that bond she had with Kin. Oh in, even in this time she still she's still sa trying to sacrifice her herself to save Kin and the others no oh, my friends oh this is that arc all over again oh Tama It's time to work together now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> that's a, that's that's such an awesome scene with Tama. And yeah, even though most of the time she's been messing <laughs> you think she's messing around, she doesn't understand things. But turns out she's she she knows a lot more deeper than that. She perceives she even perceives how Gin is really feels with regards to trying to be antagonistic towards others. But deep da- deep down, he cares for for them. <laughs> oh, yeah. To begin. Yeah. <laughs> How does the, <laughs> the final boss feel? This boss needs to be really strong for at least to keep up with two gin, Gintoki. Because even with just Gin, is really strong enough to defeat almost everyone, anyone. Oh, is it? Oh, I thought it's Tama herself. Oh, is she? Yeah, is is he going to use Tama's face? Her body. So <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he has control over I guess the only ones that she can't control the virus can't control is the outside forces which is Gin the Yorozuya She looks badass though, <laughs> as a villain. No, oh, that's the problem. Oh. 
know. It's like that arc all over again. <laughs> oh, and that somewhat reminded me of uh, Kazuma. <laughs> That was Kazuma mentality. That would drop. <laughs> drop kick any girl. <laughs> Even if it, is, if it is his friend. But yeah, that's a great plot twist to this episode. And I really love that uh, one-on-one um, dialogue between Gin and Tama. Where Tama said that that's... It just shows that she really knew the real Gin. I thought that she thought of the 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 made up gin that uh told up that he told about her about the samurai things like that a more uh, uh a more a much more perfect gin without the flaws and but yeah i was wrong that she she perceived all that she 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 knew that gin deep down inside gin is just i am um, showing up an act of being this um, abrasive uh, not not re- seem like he's he's messing around he doesn't care he's selfish things like that but deep down inside he he cares for the for others and he cares for his friends and that so so much so that he, he wants to um, try to push them away and yeah it's really nice and um, emotional when Tama had that I guess also somewhat a bit of another farewell with Gin because I think they already somewhat did that on that arc where she on that first arc where she was introduced and uh, yes uh, but I think if they will they will find a way to um, to destroy the virus and still keep her memories or uh, yeah her her body intact because I think it's somewhat similar it's just a repeat of the last arc if that's going to happen and but yeah I guess they could still go that way but but I think that would somewhat be a waste for all that times um, Tama was recovered and she had to start from the beginning again um, when she was when her core was recovered and the mechanic um, somewhat tried to build her again so I think it would be a waste if they would go that way again where she would or I guess what what a worst thing that could happen is this could be her end I hope that's not the case because I, I think she 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 still hasn't that had that connection and I think she's also a part of Gin's um, circle of friends or or his family now so I think losing her would definitely um, be devastating for Gin especially with the burden that he had before where he never he he doesn't he does he cannot accept losing someone close to him anymore and that's why um, Whenever um, Kagura and Shinpachi is in danger, he eventually show up. Show up his to. He became a lot more serious because he. That's the that's the 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 least thing that he wants to experience again. Because he already had that with the Amanto War. So. Uh, I'm not, I I I think they will not uh, kill her off, especially. I don't think we've ever. Uh, yeah, we had the. We had killed a uh, um, a minor character before, with especially with the Shinsengumi crisis. But I think that's I don't know it's a Shinsengumi crisis with Okita's uh, older sister. But I think that's somewhat more um, because of the of the of the arc. She was introduced in that arc. She was exclusive to that arc, and 
I think in this with the with regards to uh, Tama, she has been already part of the 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 Gintama universe. The the whole the the, the we've seen her in a, a different episode. So I think I don't think they would kill her off that easily. I think they would really kill her off. Uh, so I think eventually they will find a way. Maybe the mechanic has a backup backup plan because yeah they had that um toothpick weapon so i'm assuming that um yeah i hope that he has a he has a countermeasure for that but he did say that if if they if gin and the others are not but yeah they said that uh, he said that this is a gamble so um it's possible if they are not able to defeat tama in this moment that final boss so they weren't be able they wouldn't be able to i guess uh separate the tama and the virus so yeah i think uh they wouldn't go that way and what i'm excited about and hoping for is that once they remove the virus the top your virus hopefully maybe she could regain the memories that she had from before she met gin so at least she would realize that but i think she maybe she already knew because she already had that image of gin uh, as her highest level of security which i think never never had ne never happened after that after the reset of of tama so she already had that idea i think she already had that connection and I think Gin also realizes that uh, the Tama sees already had already remembered the past and the connection that they had before. So yeah, it's a really <laughs> really nice episode. And I think so far this is my favorite. I I wonder if already how many episodes. I think this is the third episode of this arc. So I think this is one of my one of my favorite in this arc. Of, uh, about Tama especially and yeah the best moments were uh, uh, Tama and Gin's heart to heart and the, <laughs> the last part where Gin um, drop kick a girl <laughs> Tama in the thing <laughs> without uh, any second doubt and yeah <laughs> so he, he is he's the, the they are the key to the to this whole thing because the high level security game couldn't really do anything towards Tama because yeah I think she now that the virus has full full control of her she, she has the influence or the control also to the to I'm not sure what to call him but but to gain Gintoki version 2.0 so but yeah uh, I'm excited what's going with that's going to happen how they will resolve this arc and um, how will then how will Tama be able, become and I think I think the the thing is that will happen in the end is uh, it will just make I think she already realized it, it will just um, made her a lot happier I think just uh, the Yorozuya being here it has already made her happy and yeah i hope to see her uh, again and her to be back again in the cafe and her to be up to be a part of a, a lot more um uh story arcs where they do uh, dumb things <laughs> but yeah I, I i'm really happy to to see her to be a part of to be to be for her character to be more to be more ex to be explored even more and had that have that character development where she's able to become more human than any robot in in the universe of the Gintama so yeah it's just, it's amazing it's an amazing episode amazing arc and uh, I'm really excited to see how this will arc will conclude so yeah how about you guys what are your thoughts on this episode just leave your comments down below and please like this video and subscribe for more updates if you want to watch the next episode of my reaction 
uh, check out the link in the description down below on my patreon and if you want to request an anime reaction you could also do that on my patreon so thank you again for watching my reaction to this episode i hope you enjoyed it see you on my next video have a great day goodbye